Hello there, everybody. How's it going? It's uh, Firefly Robbie, and I'm going to be giving you a updated version of my render settings and effects, you know, stuff like that. Um, my other one, I didn't really outline any proper render settings. The video quality was quite bad, um, and I was using my old crappy mic. So I'll be using my. I'll be giving you an updated version of it. Okay. Um, okay. I'm just going to import some uh, uh, what do you call it? um new God I can't think. Um a clip in that's the one. Um this is from a new montage I'm making slowly but surely. If it loads up, there we go. Oh no, that's a crap one I'm not using. Not gonna use that one, I use this one. <sighs> there we go. Alright, so I'll just show you it the clip. That did not that was Obviously, it won't look like that in the when it renders out. Um, right, okay. This has already had some effects been put onto it, but um, oh well. Okay. So go to video effects. These are the ones I use. I use color corrector, um, studio RGB to computer RGB. I put that on. Makes it look like a lot darker. I know, yeah. But it is brightness and contrast. There, brightness and contrast reset to none. I put that on, and then I just use whatever. Normally about brightness to about 0.15, then I put the contrast up to nearly the same amount. So you see how it looks there. Um, what else do I use? Uh, sometimes I use saturation just boost midtones. But that can look like too much. So what I do is I put that down a little bit. Looks so, alright. Sharpen, reset to non. I use that. Okay. Um, I'll show you these pro my properties on it. What I choose, obviously HD. Um, Twelve eighty by seven twenty. Non progressive scan on field or that you. No, I'll just leave it as that. Pixel aspect ratio one, obviously. Frame rate. No, then. Um, when I, if I've got loads of time for it to render out, I'll render it out in 60 frames a second because it does take double the amount of time, nearly. But if I want it to render quite quickly, I'll do it in 30 frames. Obviously, it's a lot more smoother with 60 frames. So I do that. Pixel format eight. Full resolution and the quality good. I should put best really. Yeah, I should put best. Motion blur type, gorgeous deinterlaced method. I heard that using blend fields or interpolate field works, but I'm not going to bother with that. Okay. Uh, and that's really it. Um, let's go to my render settings. Right. Here we go. Um, okay, so we're on Windows Media Video 11. On my other video, I said that I used uh, Main Concept AVC AAC, which I, I do sometimes. Not that one. Nope, I don't use that one. My mistake. Sony AVC. That's the one. I did my computer is running slow because I have a virus. Not very good, is it? Right. Um, Windows Media Video 11. Okay, custom. Video. Uh, here we go, look, that's 60 frames. I've put that on there. Um, uh, bit rate 8. Sometimes. I, this is a hard one. Because if you want brilliant quality, you could put 10 if you want, or 12. Um, 8's good. Six is good for you getting towards low file size but low quality. Um, so I use around six or eight. If I'm using montages, I use around about eight or ten 
because the files just won't really be that big because they'll be like a two seconds long or something. So what I will do is I'll actually render this out um, and um, yeah, render this out. See how long it takes. See, well, it doesn't take long. Might not actually look good because of the. Um, I only put effects on it beforehand when I actually rendered it out. I haven't got any uncompressed footage to be done. Yeah. Right, so this is done. And I will add this at the end of the video so then you can see what it's like, you know. Okay, so thanks for watching, everyone. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you have any questions, you know, or anything. Put in this comments box. Um, I see it on other videos. What are your render settings and how do you make it full screen and stuff like that? Oh, actually, I'll go into that. If your if your video is like this, I don't know if I'll be able to. If your video is something like that, well, obviously it won't be like that. But you know if it is something like that, um, you go and right click on it, click on switches and click on maintain aspect ratio. It will take away the uh, black bars and you can change it by on there. Okay, so thanks for watching everyone. Make sure to comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you later.